of three spots guaranteed on Team USA for the men tonight. The men's 200-meter breaststroke, U.S. record held by Josh Prino, who finished second in the Olympic trials in 2016, finished eighth in the Olympic Games in Rio, but was knocked out in the prelims of this event, so he will not be on Team USA. Kevin Cordes is going to have a chance to be. He was just introduced. That's Nick Fink, who will be in lane five, 27-year-old Athens Bulldog Swim Club, grew up in New Jersey. He's going to be one of the favorites in this event. Let's take you through all eight men in the field. Jake Foster, rising junior, University of Texas, 20 years old. He and his brother have both had good meets. Can one of them make the team? Andrew Wilson, second in the 100 breaststroke. He's in lane two. Kevin Cordes, who I mentioned before, is in lane three. Cordes finishing second in the trials and eighth in the Olympic Games, where Prino finished second in Rio in 2016. Matt Fallon's been the surprise guy of these games. He has trimmed his personal best twice in the last six weeks by a significant amount. Went to the same school growing up as Nick Fink about a decade apart. There is Fink in lane five. Lane six, Will Lacone from El Paso, Texas, swimming out of Longhorn Aquatics. Daniel Roy in lane seven. Alto Swim Club, the 21-year-old from Spokane, Washington. And A.J. Pouch has had a couple of good swims, including a personal best in the semifinal to get in in lane eight. So, Cordes will try to return to the Olympic team. He was there in 2016 in this event. I mentioned Prino, who had a, a terrific career. Silver medalist in Rio, not through in the prelims, so... A new spot, at least one, on Team USA in the 200-meter breast. Take your mark. This could be the most exciting race the entire week for the men. I, and I say that with some trepidation only because it's not going to be very fast. You're not going to see some world-leading times here. But this is fascinating to look at because you've got this young kid, Matt Fallon, 18 years old, who will be eighth at the 50, he'll be eighth <laughs> at the 100, and he might be eighth at the 150. And guess what? That's what he was in the semis, and he seceded first now. It is just so amazing because he's got all these veterans all the way around him. So Fallon... His personal best was 2.13 in this event six weeks ago. What did he swim, just under 2.09? Yes, he's, he's 2.089 to go his best time here. It is, it is so crazy to look at. And look at this. This is exactly shaping up. And you're thinking, oh, this kid is, are you kidding me? Rowdy, come on. And there's no way he's coming back off that pace. He might not. You know, I mean, the, the pressure is completely different in a prelim and a semi. But you won't want to take your eye off of him in the last 50, that's for sure. A lot of guys now here in the mix. Daniel Roy, second from the bottom lane, seven. 21-year-old has the edge at the moment. I talked to Brendan Hanson, one of the great breaststrokers of all time, and he said this is where the race will shape up. Right here at the 100 to 150 mark. And this is another young guy, only 21 years of age. So much promise over the last couple years. Don't take your eye off of Nick Fink in lane number five. This dude can get home. Well, this is going to be tight. Fallon's got so much room to make up. Up in lane two, Andrew Wilson with a bit of an edge. He's not going to do it here. It's Fink. Could Fink do it? Never been an Olympian. And it is tight right now. Lacone, never been an Olympian. Fink in five. Lacone in six at the top. It is Wilson in two. Final 10 meters. Fink accelerating to the wall, to Tokyo. Nick Fink is an Olympian. And Andrew Wilson up to get second. Out touches Lacone by 18 one hundredths of a second. Swimming a personal best. Nick Fink, 207.55. Well, the kid didn't have the magic this time. He did the first two times. This time, he finishes eighth. But boy, what a race for Nick Fink and Andrew Wilson. And Nick Fink has been there for so many years, guys. 2013, he was on the world championship team. Think about that for a second. Here's the 150 turn right here. And Brendan, you were right, buddy. It, the race took place on that <laughs> third 50. That's where it happened. Who made the move? It was Nick Fink. 
never been an Olympian. Andrew Wilson up there. Now he's two-time, but this guy, oh my gosh. Again, such heartbreak. Will Lacombe finished third in 2016. Oh no, and he finishes third again. And we sit 18 one hundredths of a second between second and third. Oh. And there is the difference oh. right there. Oh my God. So close, so far. Not related to Bobby Fink, who qualified earlier in the 800. That Fink has an E in his surname. Nick has no E, but they're both going to Tokyo. And Andrew Wilson right there, right behind in second. And we talked about Matt Fallon. Couldn't make up that ground. He does finish eighth. Michelle is with Nick Fink. Nick, this was your last shot to make the team. When you got out of the pool and heard that crowd yelling for you, what went through your mind? Um, it still hasn't digested yet. I'm, I'm still reeling, man. This is such a, you know, incredible meet. High ups, low, low downs, and I'm just trying to process everything right now. And and man, I'm I'm just. I don't have words right now. It was a long time coming. What kept you inspired over all the years? Uh, just the supporting cast, you know. I was out there swimming, but everybody else set it up for me. My coaches, my teammates, my family, my friends. I mean, without them, I would have been done swimming four or five years ago. So they kept me going through all this, and I, yeah, I can't, I can't possibly thank them enough. Well, they'd love it, and we'd all love it, if you sign the drum to signify you're headed to Tokyo. Congratulations. Nick Fink in this event at trials in 2012 was 17th. 2016 at trials in this event, he was 7th. Stays with it, and he wins now. Simone Manuel, when we come back.